by Hermia, I will none. If ever I loved her, all that love is gone. My heart to her, but is guest-wise sojourned, and now to Helen is it home returned, there to remain. Helen, it is not so. Disparage not the faith thou dost not know, lest to thy peril thou abide it, dear. <laughs> Look where thy love comes, yonder is thy dear. <laughs> Why should he stay whom love doth press to go? You speak that as you think it cannot be. I said, there's love. Oh, Helen, you more in guilt than night than all yon fiery eyes and ohs of light. Oh, why seek'st thou me? Could not just make thee know. The hate I bear thee made me leave thee so. You speak that as you think it cannot be. Lo, she is one of this confederacy. Now I perceive they have conjoined all three to fashion this false sport in spite of me. Injurious Hermia, most ungrateful maid, have you conspired? Have you, with these, contrived to bait me with this foul derision? Is all the counsel we two have shared, the sisters' vows, the many hours we have spent, when we have chid the hasty foot of time for parting us, oh, and is all forgot, all school days' friendship, Childhood innocence, and will you rend our ancient love asunder to join with men in scorning your poor friend? It is not friendly, tis not maidenly. Our sex, as well as I, may chide you for it, though I alone do feel the injury. I am amazed at your passionate words. I scorn you not, and it seems that you scorn me. <laughs> Have you not set Lysander as in scorn to follow me and praise my eyes and face? And made your other love, Demetrius, who even but now did spurn me with his foot, to call me, oh, a goddess, divine, rare, nymph, precious, celestial. Oh, celestial. Wherefore, sweet <laughs> is to her he hates. And wherefore did Lysander deny your love, so rich within his soul, and tender me, forsooth, affection, but by your setting on, by your consent. Oh, what? Though I be not so in grace as you, uh, so hung upon with love, so fortunate, but miserable most, to love unloved, this you should pity rather than despise. I understand not what you mean by this. I do persever, counterfeit sad looks, make mouths upon me when I turn my back, wink at each other, hold the sweet jest up. This sport, well carried, shall be chronicled. If you have pity, grace, or manners, you would not make me such an argument. But fare ye well, tis partly my own fault, which death or absence soon shall remedy. Stay! Oh, oh. Helena, Helena, hear my excuse. Oh, my love, my life, my soul. Fair Helena, I... Oh, excellence! We do not scorn her so much. If she cannot entreat, I can compel. Thou canst compel! No more than she entreat. Thy threats have no more strength than her meek prayers. Helen, I love thee. By my life, I do. I swear that by which I will lose for thee to prove him false that said I love thee not. I say I love thee more than he can do. Oh, if thou say so, withdraw huh? and prove it too. Quick, come. I said it would you tell all this. Away, you miss it. No, 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 sir. He'll seem to break off. Take on as you would follow, but yet come not. You are a tame man. You. <laughs> Hang off. Thou cat. Thou burr. A vile thing let loose, or I will shake thee from me like a serpent. Why do those things so rude? What changes this sweet love? Thy love? Out, tawny trollop, out! Hated potion, loathed medicine! Hence! Demetrius, I will keep my word with thee. I would I had your bond, for I perceive a weak bond holds you. I'll not trust your word. What? Strike her? Hurt her? Kill her? Dead? Also, I hate her. I'll harm her so. What greater harm can you do than hate? Hate me? Wherefore? Oh, and lose my love, and not I, Hermia, are not you, Lysander. I am as fair now as I was erewhile. Since night you loved me, and since night you left me. Why then you left me? Oh, God forbid, and honor shall I say. 
I, by my life, never did desire to see thee more. It will be out of question, of hope, doubt, be certain, nothing truer. Tis no jest that I do hate thee <laughs> and love Helena. Oh, me! You juggler! You canker blossom! You thief of love! What? Have you come my nigh and stolen my love's heart from you? Oh, fine, <laughs> Have you no modesty, no maiden shame, no touch of bashfulness? What? Will you tear a patient answers from my gentle tongue? Fine! Fine, you counterfeit! You pot that you! Pot that? Why, so I see that way goes the game. Now she has made compare between our statures. She has urged her height, and with her person is her tall. Shalt abide. Now she holds me not. Now. Ha! Follow! If thou darst to try who's right, or thine, or mine, is most in Helena. Follow? <laughs> Nay, I'll go with thee. The sheik by Jell. <laughs> Like sometimes to Lysander, bring thy tongue, then 
stirred and eaten yourself with bitter wrong. And sometimes, rail thou like Demetrius, huh? and from each other look thou lead them thus, till over their brows death counterfeiting sleep. <laughs> with leaden legs and batty wings doth creep, then crush this herb into Lysander's eye, whose liquor hath this virtuous property, to take from thence all error with his might, and to make his eyeballs roll with wanton sight. When they awake, all this derision will seem a dream and fruitless vision. Then back to Athens shall the lovers wend, with league whose day till death shall never end. Whilst I in this affair do thee employ, I'll to my queen and beg her Indian boy. And then I will her charmed eye release from monster's view, and all things shall be peace. My fairy lord, this must be done with haste, uh, for night's swift dragon cut the clouds full fast. And yonder shines Aurora's harbinger, at whose approach ghosts wandering here and there troop home to churchyard, dead spirits all, who in crossways and floods have burial, already to their wormy beds are gone, lest the light of day should shine their shames upon. They willfully exile themselves from light, and must, for I consort with black brown night. But we are spirits of another sort. I, with the morning's love, have oft made sport. And like a forester, the groves may tread, even till the eastern gate all fiery red, opening on Neptune with fair blessed beams, turns into yellow gold his salt green streams. But notwithstanding, haste, make no delay. We may effect this business yet ere day. Up and down, up and down, I will lead them up and down. I am feared in field and town. Goblin, lead them up and down. Oh, there comes one. Ha! Where art thou, proud Demetrius? Speak thou now! <laughs> Here, villain, drawn and ready, where art thou? I will be with thee straight! Follow me then to plainer ground. Lysander, speak again! Oh, thou runaway, thou coward! Speak, art thou fled? In some bush? Where dost thou hide thy head? What, thou coward, art thou bragging to the stars, telling the bushes about how thou looks for wars, but will not come? Come, recreant, come, child, I'll whip thee with a rod. He's the child that pulls his sword on thee. Yea, art thou there? Follow me to plainer ground. We'll try no manhood here. Uh, 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 He goes before me and still dares me on. When I come where he calls, then he is gone. The villain is much lighter heel than I. I followed fast, but faster did he fly. Oh, as fallen am I in dark and even way. And here will arrest me. Come now, gentle day. For if but once I show me thy gray light, I'll find Demetrius and revenge this Fight! Oh, coward, why comest thou not? But bind me if thou darest, for while I watch thou runs before me, shifting every place, and there's not dead, nor look me in the face. Where art thou? I'm hither, I am here. Nay, then thou mockst me. Thou shalt abide this dear, if ever I thy face by daylight see. Go thy way. Fate has constrained me to measure out my length on this cold bed. <laughs> <laughs> my day's approach. Look, to be visited. Oh, oh, weary night. Oh, long and tedious night. Abate thy hours. Shine comforts from the east that I may back to Athens by daylight. These have my poor company to test. Oh, I'm asleep. Sometimes shuts up sorrow's eye. Steal me a while from mine own company. Yet but 